subscribe now and help me hit 2000 subs. Welcome to back to another video. So today I'm going to show you how to get FIFA 21 for free and it can work with any of the games that are digital on Xbox. So with FIFA coming out I thought it would be a good idea. I've done it before for FIFA 20. It did pretty well so I thought I might as well do it again for this FIFA because it will be pretty useful for a lot of people including me. I've literally done it myself. So um, yeah, so first of all the first step you got to do is have an account with FIFA 21 bought digitally. So this could be your mate, your cousin, your fan friend or family member and um, just anyone even in the comments I want you to put down your Xbox name and if someone's got FIFA you can log on to theirs and uh, do this method and then um, yeah you can either go half price or even get it for free like I got it for free because I'm giving my mate Xbox Live and he's giving me FIFA so it's worked out both ways and a lot of people don't know about this method so the first step is have an account with FIFA 21 bought digitally and um, yeah look in the comments for people you want to share with or um, yeah, they'll potentially share with you. So that's the step one. So step two, click the Xbox button, sign into the account that you want to sign in with. So for, for me, it's going to be um, my own. I've already done it, but I'm going to show you anyway. And just log in with your password details there. And um, yeah, so it could be a mate's account right now who's got FIFA or like I said, a friend. And at the end of the video, I'm going to have all the steps listed in one page at the bottom of the screen. No, the, in the whole screen. So um, you can have a look and uh, see what's there see how to do it step by step you can screenshot or whatever pause the video but I've got the steps at the bottom of the screen should be there so um, yeah step two sign into the account who's got the digitally bought FIFA or any other game step three would be going to click the Xbox button and click RB which is this button here five times all the way to the end and it'll be profile and system then go down into settings right in settings stay on general go two to the right and click personalization and that's step four done. Step five, in personalization, click all the way down, go to my home Xbox and click that. Right, sign in with your password if you need to, if it, if it tells you to, and then click make this my home Xbox. So what you're doing there is pretty much making all the digital games become uh, your, your Xbox's games as well, without mattering which account uh, you're on. So you can be playing back on your account whilst having all the games of another account's uh, digitally downloaded games. So pretty much, Click that and then you'll then be able to access any of the digital games that that account holds while signed into any of the accounts on, on that specific Xbox. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You can, step seven is easy, you're done. You can pretty much go into the store. So click here, go into the store, find the game that uh, they have. You can, you can do it another way, but I do it through the store. So I'd search for FIFA, obviously mine's already installed. So FIFA 21, there it is, standard edition says owned I've already done it um, I know it says uh, join with EA play there but I have actually got it. I'll show you now so you'd you click install there um, it will be there or another way of doing it if you would like is go to my games and apps while signed in it can be on either account I'd probably go back to your own account and then go to uh, the queue and it should be there in the queue um, FIFA 21 obviously mine's already installed so I'm literally just waiting till release day I'm gonna get EA access and um, it'll be ready to play, like I said, done it with FIFA 20, done it with Black Ops 3, done it with Red Dead, done it with Rocket League, um, I can't remember Minecraft, but um, yeah, that is that is literally it, so simple, and um, yeah, so make sure you comment down all your mates or anyone's gamer tags that you want to use to get FIFA 21, obviously you can only do it once and you get five changes per year, so like five switches of the home Xbox, but obviously you only need to do it once to get um, the person's game you could do it like next year for the next FIFA if someone else else's gamer tag obviously you're gonna have to privately message to swap your details and then change your password after so no one's going in and in and out of your account but if you trust them then uh, should be all right and um, yeah definitely like the video to help uh, massively try and get this uh, spread around show you mate tell you mate tell you nan and um, yeah subscribe and help reach 2,000 subscribers so um, yeah on the screen now is gonna be a list of all the steps one by one, it'll be really easy to follow. I've put it there pretty easily, and I'm even following it myself to help me uh, remind myself. But yeah, um, that's gonna be it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit a thumbs up and subscribe. Peace.